Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Films and back by popular demand, we've got some more ankle strengthening exercises for you today. Apologies for the lateness of this video, I usually put them out on a Tuesday because I've taught them the night before at my introduction to trail running class with the Stamford Trail and Ultra Running Club, but this Tuesday I was absolutely dead because I did the Scarfell Sky Race on the Sunday. It was 36 kilometres long with 2,800 metres of ascent over Scarfell Pike, Esk Pike, Bowfell, up Harrison Stickle and then uh, Luffrig Fell, never ending hills to finish with. It was an absolutely amazing race with brilliant weather, um, but I fell over on my knee. I don't know if you can see that there. And um, that, so that was killing me. And also I had like on Tuesday, I had like massive delayed onset muscle soreness, the DOMS they call it. So I literally could not do these ankle exercises on Tuesday, simple as they are. You, on the other hand, hopefully have not been killing yourself in a mountain race recently, so you can get cracking with these straight away. Just need to do 15 of each on alternate legs. Again, there's only three of them, do them daily, and you will reap the benefits of increased ankle strength when you run off-road. So the first exercise is really, really simple. Just stand on one leg for 10 seconds, and then rise up onto your tiptoes for five seconds. Up for five, two, three, four, five and do that 15 times then swap the legs and rise up onto the toes again for five seconds ah, it's really hard i really need to practice this and then down again the more uneven the ground is the stronger your ankles are going to get so that's actually actually brilliant training for trail running so exercise number two is one-legged squats so again we've got ankle strength and balance going on but now we're going to engage the glute as well which is very good for uphill trail running so just engage the core engage the glute give it a little tap if you if you want to feel it working there maybe keep your hand on your hip to feel it engaging and just up and down with a nice straight back not leaning forward not leaning back just nice and straight good one for balance this as well so do 15 of those on one leg before swapping to the next leg so somebody who swears by these is Jim Mann who came second in the Dragon's Back race this year May 2017 he actually used to do them while he was brushing his teeth until his dentist told him to stop because he was brushing all the enamel off of his teeth. So maybe do it while you watch TV. The next exercise requires a stick or a line drawn in the ground. So I am at home, so I'm just gonna use a wooden spoon for this. I don't know if you can see there, but it says 2015 at Christmas wooden spoon winner. And that's me guessing my time for a 5K Christmas run completely wrong with Stamford Striders. I ended up being 20 minutes out with my predicted time. So I got a wooden spoon for being the rubbishest guesser there. Place your stick or draw a line in the floor just there. And then standing on one leg again for balance. Now we're gonna bring a bit of CV in because we're gonna jump from left to right. So let's give it a go, 15 times on each leg. So the aim is uh, not to move the stick, to jump over it. You might wanna look at something in the distance or down here at a spot on the ground, anything that will help you balance, then change legs. You might find that one leg is easier than the other. I certainly do. But this one's quite a lot of fun as well. So there you have it, three super easy ankle exercises for strength, balance, and a little bit of CV in that exercise at the end. Do those every day, 15 times a day, on each leg, and you'll have bomb-proof ankles for running off-road. Mm -hmm.